Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Lucy Nzue and I'm a proposal development consultant and I'm passionate about proposal writing and I have a mission. My mission is to equip you uh, working for non-profits and professionals interested in proposal writing with the skills that you need to write award-winning proposals, attract funding and have greater impact in our society. Today I'm going to be talking about um, the, the, the different components of a project summary and this is because a project summary is a common requirement in many proposals and at times uh, people wonder what do I write in a project um, summary. So here are my thoughts around that. But when you are writing the project summary, remember it's a summary of everything in your you know in your proposal basically. So you are, it's like an executive summary. It, it's it's um, highlighting the key components of your proposal. So as a rule for me, I start with the overall objective of, or the goal of the project. So you open by saying, you know, the goal of this project is to do one, two, three, and four. Once you write the goal, then link it to, you know, the problem. So you, uh, the key problem that you want to address in this proposal. And then again, you highlight the key approaches or strategies so you could say that this project is going to be informed by maybe the triple nexus approach and in so doing we are going to do this and this and this so in a very summarized manner highlight your key strategies and then link your strategies to your outcome so by achieving this then we are going to help communities to be self-reliant or to be you know what is your outcome so basically you're talking about your goal uh, from the goal highlight your problem that you are addressing and when you're writing your uh, problem remember uh, the main thing that you want to pass across is why it is important uh, we all know the problems in many cases we know you know the problems that people are facing but we want to explain beyond the problem and talk about why why what is the impact of this problem what happens if this impact is if this pro uh, problem is not addressed so you can link it even to you know achievement of uh, you know if it's not addressed and how it's going to impact on achievement of the SDGs you know something like that so the why is important and then you come down and talk about your strategies uh, highlight your key models that you're going to use and remember as you write always propose or use a convincing model so i mean a convincing language so even when you're talking about models you're saying you're going to be applying this model that we has been tested and uh, was very successful uh you know in achieving the so you know these outcomes so maybe it was used to increase um in youth employment projects so you can say something like uh, this model has been used in the last maybe five years by this organization and as a result has been able to, to, to transition uh, maybe 80% of the, all the youth trained into jobs. You know, something very convincing to justify why you're using this model, what result it has had in the past. And then after that, talk about the outcomes, the impact this project is going to have, how it will help in achievement of, you know, the sustainable development goals, the national policies, and that. And that, in a very simple way, basically, is what you talk about when you're told to write a project summary. And I hope that uh, someone learned something and you're going to put it into use in the next uh, step. So as you always, thank you very much for watching my um, my videos. Um, and kindly, if you have not subscribed, please, please subscribe. Uh, to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much.